Thank you very much. It's all right. Trip. Overnight, all alone in Ostend. Okay, I only ask. Five hundred grams. I missed you. Your place or mine? How about yours for a change? Oh, I don't think your wife would approve, would she? Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. More than that, surely. There's uh, three telexes and a couple of cables to go. I've left notes. And there's some letters on the machine. It's a bore, but they've got to go out tonight. OK? Well, I'm uh, glad you miss me in Ostend. You'd miss anybody in Ostend. himself this week, huh? Shut that off. What's the matter? Don't you remember the 60s with pleasure and joy? No. Huh. Where were you? In the nick? <clears throat> well, how's business? Rocketing. 500 grams. Is that all? Well, don't we pay you enough? I feel good. Glad to be back. Another assignment over. I hate those trips. And we've made love most satisfactorily. Thank you, sir. Now it's time you returned home to your poor neglected wife. Oh. Getting the push, am I? Huh? see about that. Are you still with Annie? Oh, it won't be for long. Annie's... She needs time. Just as soon as she... Ken, does... either go home to her or don't talk about her. If Dave chooses your whatnot, you'll get 20 pounds from my pocket. Ooh, off you go, Dave. Wave your whatnot, wave your whatnot. We've got to be up. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Usual late panic. Urgent consignment of machine tools had to go out tonight, of course. 
Lillian Cope? Now, Lillian's uh, had to catch up on some correspondence. She's only just got back herself from abroad. You've been without her? Yeah, a couple of days. For you, how did you manage? You're always saying how indispensable Lillian is. How quickly she's learned all there is to know about the business, how bright she is, how pretty. Annie, love, please. Or was she your urgent consignment? Go on, Ken, admit it just once. Admit it. What's for supper? Why don't you answer me? Look, Annie, once and for all, as far as I'm concerned, there is nothing but a working relationship between me and Lillian. She is my secretary. You're the one who's obsessed with her, not me. Okay? Now, please, can we eat? I'm hungry. It's been a long day. For me, too. Yes. Yes, sir, that's correct. Yeah. Well, uh, I think it will be with you by about noon tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, sir. All right. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, thanks. Ken? Mm-hmm? I've met someone else. He's, um... unmarried. And he's my own age. And he... Wait. What about us? What about our plans? Well, they weren't real, were they? Just dreams. You say, well, I meant every word of it. Let me think about the risks we've taken. I have. And I don't want to take any more, Ken. I don't want that money. I don't want a life set up on money from kids killing themselves. It was the only way. Besides, you'll never leave Annie. You know you won't. I promised, didn't I? Just as soon as we got enough money together... It's to... taken too long. I'm sorry. And I found someone else. I'm sorry. Well, what am I supposed to do, huh? Just accept it? That's it? It's all over? Goodbye? I do love you, Ken. Oh, yes. And I've waited. I couldn't just drop everything, could I? I mean, I don't like this drugs business any more than you do. But I did think that it was worth it, Lillian, for you. You did it for me? Well, of course I did. Or was it for Annie? Well, I have to think of her, too, yes. Yeah. There, what did I tell you? But in the meantime, you go off and you find this other bloke. I mean, what's he gonna do for he you? He doesn't have to do anything. He's free. And he says he loves me, and I think he does. Oh, terrific. What's wrong with that? You can't just walk out on me. That's what's wrong. I told you, you'd change my life. Let go, now, you're you just tell me. Bloke, you tell him that you're coming with me. And that we're going to all... it isn't true. You're fantasizing. I'm not. I'm telling you how it really is, what we've planned. No! Yes, you're mine. You can't be anybody else's. You belong to you. You bloody well do. You slept with him. <sighs> well, was it good? Where? Ostend, was it? Better than me? Was it better than me? Different! Oh! I just don't want to lose you. Oh, man. Lily. Oh, no.
Jaguar E-Type Series 3, 2 plus 2, powder blue. What's going on, George? What's it going? Okay. Left a bloody motor. Locked and all. Well, you gotta get on. Oh, me and all. Don't make no sense. George, that the vehicle? That's right. Can't move it. Yeah, stupid bit just left it. Her handbag's in there and all. Ha, <laughs> so rummin. Must have got off the way she came. Right, we'll get it shifted, and I'll see if that's been reported missing. Yeah. Speaking. You have? Already? Morning, Inspector. This is Mr. Johnson, owner of the car. Morning, sir. Morning. Everything in working order again? Seems so, sir. Sir? Did anyone else have keys to your car, Mr. Johnson? Well, um, your wife, for instance? You are married, sir? Yes. Yes, I am. No, my wife has her own car. Driving license, sir. Oh. Lillian Brett. Name mean anything to you, sir? Yes, yes, it does. Uh, she's my secretary, Miss Brett. Oh, she is, is she? Yeah. Johnson's Air Services? Yes, that's my firm. And you allow Miss Brett the use of your car? Well, I have done, on occasion. On the firm's business, of course. Yes, Mr. Johnson? Well, she's on holiday. She told me that she was going to Southampton to see her mother. How long has she been on holiday? Oh, a couple of days. Since Monday. Well, perhaps she's come back. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's possible. Well, her mother's an invalid, you see. Very demanding. Uh, excuse me. This, uh, this person that took my car... Did you see her properly? Well, I... Uh... Can you remember what she was wearing? She was wearing some kind of uniform. Air hostess, kind of like, uh, red colour, with a black coat on. But you didn't get a close look? Enough. Anything like this? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. But you uh, can't be sure? It could be. Yeah. I'd say that was her. Yes. Right, thanks. That's all for now. We'll be in touch if you need more. Right, yeah. So, 
We shall endeavour to bring charges against Miss Brett. Have you any idea of her mother's address in Southampton? No, I'm afraid not. No, doesn't matter. We'll have saved time, that's all. But we'll get it, don't worry. Uh, may I take my car now? Oh, yes, of course, by all means. But we'll keep the handbag. Should Miss Brett contact you by any chance, uh, you'll let us know at once, won't you? Yes, yes, of course. I suppose you'll be treating her as a missing person, then? There's no evidence for that, sir. Is there? Well, no. No, of course not. It's just I thought the handbag and, and then my car. Found these, sir. Just shut on the side of the road there. Oh. Same key ring as your secretary, Mr. Johnson? Uh, yes. Lillian bought them. Uh, as, as a joke. A sort of office joke? Yes, sort of. Lillian. Right. Keep us posted, sir. If we get any further information, we'll be in touch. You'll do the same for us, I'm sure. Well, at least you got your car back. Hmm. That's the main thing. And she told you she was going to Southampton. Yes, she did. I always knew she couldn't be trusted. But you wouldn't listen. Well, we don't know any. I do. I think you're well rid of her. You're not going to take her back, are you? Not after this. Well, no. I, I don't know. Well, maybe she's not, you know, quite stable. Mentally. But I'm glad you've told me everything. It's it. 25832? Yes. Who's that? How dare you ring here? How dare you? Who? Who do you think? Her, of course, Lillian. Lillian? She said you told her to ring. What's going on, Ken? What's happening? Nothing. I... I don't know. I'll get it. Hello? Who is this? It's Lillian, Ken. Oh. Where are you? At home. Wondering how you are. Her or me, Ken. It can't be you. Don't be silly. Of course it is. No. You you went to your mother's. Well, I'm back now. I do wish you'd let me call the doctor. No, no, I feel a lot better. No, I'm fine. Up half the night? Yeah, it must be a stomach bug, I think. You go back to bed. What time will you be home? Well, shopping, hairdresser, late-ish, half past one, see? Well, there's a couple of things I've got to do at the office, No. So... You look after yourself for once. Promise? Suspect leaving now. How can I even try?
Valiant. Morning, Mr. Johnson. Puzzled, sir? A new boyfriend found us. He said he was worried, and so was Lillian's sister. It seems she didn't say anything to them about going to her mother's in Southampton. But she did say she was afraid of breaking it off, and what you might do. Sir? It's all right, you don't have to. She was the one that took my car? Yes. And phoned me last night. That's right. It all worked rather well, sir. I didn't mean to kill her. You'd better tell that to her sister. You Lillian's sister? Yes, Sylvia Brett. Unlucky for you, sir. Police constable, Sylvia Brett. 